Stanley ST3200i Pre-Delivery Guide Congratulations on purchasing the Stanley ST3200i Inverter Generator. Make sure you have registered your generator warranty to ensure to take advantage of our extended two-year warranty. Simply log on to stanleygenerators.com.au and follow the link to our warranty registration portal. This pre-delivery guide is split into five sections. What you need before you start, component identification, pre-delivery instructions, starting instructions, running in and operating the generator. Section 1. What you need before you start. Clean, even surface, preferably a workbench or table. Suitable device to cut the straps and tape when removing the generator from the carton. 1 litre of SAE 10W30 engine oil. Brand is not important as long as it's SAE 10W30 specifications. A new fuel container. Preferably plastic filled with unleaded petrol. Do not use unleaded petrol containing ethanol, commonly known as E10. Section 2. Component Identification Control Panel AC Overload Reset Button Hertz Volts Hour Meter Scroll 12 Volt DC Outlet Warning Lights Low Oil AC Overload AC output, ground terminal, 240 volt AC outlets, 12 volt DC circuit reset, choke, fuel tap on and off, economy switch on and off, engine switch on and off, our volts hertz meter display screen. Fuel cap, fuel gauge, starter rope handle, oil filler cover, muffler exhaust outlet, spark plug air filter maintenance cover, transport handle. Section 3 Pre-Delivery Instructions Start by unpacking your generator. Warning: Two people lift required as the generator weighs 38 kilos. Remove the generator from the carton and place on a clean flat surface. Enclosed in the carton along with the generator is 
have known this manual. Oil filler bottle. Screwdriver and spark plug spanner. 12 volt charging leads. Adding the oil. With the screwdriver provided in your toolkit, loosen the two screws as indicated. Remove the cover. Now that you've removed the cover, locate the oil filler cap and remove. Your ST3200i takes approximately 600 mils of SAE 10W30 oil. Using the oil filler provided, fill to the 200 mil mark and pour oil into the oil filler on the generator. Repeat this twice to achieve 600 mils of oil. Make sure the oil is filled to the point of overflowing from the filler. It may take a little more or less oil. Refit the oil filler cap firmly. To refit the side cover, line up the locating lugs, clip in the cover. With the screwdriver provided in your toolkit, secure the two screws. Adding unleaded petrol. It is important to ensure you use ethanol free unleaded petrol in your Stanley generator. Do not use unleaded petrol containing ethanol, commonly referred to as E10. Always start with a new fuel container, preferably plastic. An important note. We recommend the use of a quality fuel stabilizer, particularly if the generator is not being used regularly. The use of fuel stabilizers will prevent costly repairs caused by stale fuel. Remove the fuel cap. Fill the tank with unleaded petrol. The fuel tank holds approximately 9 litres of fuel. Do not overfill. The full mark is indicated by the red ring inside the fuel tank. Now refit the fuel cap. Section 4 Starting Instructions Safety Warnings Read all warnings in the instruction manual on pages 4 and 5. Use the generator only outdoors as exhaust gases contain carbon monoxide. Never use indoors or in an unventilated area. Always disconnect appliances before starting.
Now that the pre-delivery is completed, take the generator outside and place onto a level clean surface such as a concrete pathway. Ensure that there are no appliances plugged into the generator. Turn the fuel switch into the on position. Put the engine switch to the on position. Put the economy switch into the rabbit position. Pull the choke out for starting. Starting the generator. Pull the starter rope straight outwards until the engine starts. This may take two or three pulls. Once the generator has started, push the choke back in. Once the generator has run for a minute or two, put the economy switch into the turtle position. This will allow the generator to adjust the engine speed to match the load. Please note, follow the running in instructions later in this presentation. Put the economy switch on or in the turtle position. Operating instructions. Operating the AC 240 volt outlet. To operate an appliance or plug in an extension cord, simply lift the cover on the 240 volt outlet and plug it in. Operating the DC 12 volt outlet. The 12 volt charging circuit is only for use in emergencies to recharge motor vehicle batteries. The 12 volt circuit is an unregulated charge and needs to be observed constantly. A 240 volt battery charger should be used when available. To operate the battery charging function for a car battery only when the standard 240 volt battery charger is unavailable. Make sure the generator is not running. Fit the charging cable supplied in to the 12 volt outlet. Disconnect the battery leads from the engine and connect the charging leads. The red lead goes to the positive terminal and the black to the negative terminal. Start the generator. When, charge, when charged, turn the generator off and refit the terminals. When stopping the generator under normal circumstances, such as when you want to refuel or stopping and restarting within a few hours, Firstly, unplug all appliances. Put the economy switch to the turtle position. And simply put the engine switch to the off position. Stopping the generator if you are not going to use it for an extended period of time or travelling from one location to another. Firstly, unplug all appliances. Put the economy switch in the rabbit position ensuring all appliances are unplugged. Turn the fuel switch into the off position.
After the engine has stopped, put the engine switch to the off position. By running the generator until it has stopped, it drains the carburetor out of fuel. This reduces the risks of stale fuel blocking your generator's fuel system. Section 5. Running in your generator. As with all small inverter generators, it is important to understand they need to be run in to allow the rings to properly bed into the cylinder. To obtain the longest life out of your generator, it should initially be run for 10 hours at 50% of its rated load. This is done simply by turning the eco function to the off position and placing a load no less than 50% of the continuous rating, around 1500 watts. Simply fill up the tank and plug the appliance into the generator and run it until it's empty. This may be done whilst camping or before you go away. Stanley ST3200i for further assistance, please contact Stanley Generator Support either by email stanleysupport at tpeaustralia.com.au or by phoning us on 07 3879 2283 for any further instructions.